Hey, welcome back, and we want to thank you for joining us today with InfoGamer. We're going to show you how to create another platform prefab. So in previous videos, we showed you how to create standard platform and a horizontally moving platform. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a platform that vanishes after you jump on it. So here we have our game open in Unity, and we're going to show you how to create a vanishing platform. That means a platform that disappears or destroys itself after your main character jumps on it. So to do this, we're going to start by going to our prefabs folder. Then we're going to select our standard platform and drag it into our scene. Once it's in our scene, we have to change the color again because every platform that has a different attribute needs a new color so players know what platform they're coming up against. So we'll go to our sprites folder and one thing that you're going to need is a distinct color so that players know oh that platform is going to disappear after I jump on it. And I personally thought that red, green, or blue, the platforms that we've created in previous videos, don't quite say I'm a ghost platform I'm gonna disappear so I went ahead and created a new sprite for this platform and it's a white platform so I just really quick opened the sprite sheet that we have in Photoshop then I copied one of the platforms and then just use the paint bucket tool to change the color so now that we have this sprite we're just gonna click on it and drag it into our sprite renderer when we have our platform selected we can see that it changed the color. Now all we need to do is write a script that makes it so that this platform disappears after being jumped on. So we'll go to our scripts folder, then we'll click on create, C sharp script, and let's call it vanishing platform. Vanishing platform. Then we'll open it up in mono develop. All right, so the code needed for this vanishing platform is really pretty easy and straightforward. It's not a lot of code, but first what we need to do is delete the start and update function because we won't need that in this in this script. Then we'll create a void function and it's going to be the on trigger enter 2D, which is a mono behavior specific function. Then inside the parentheses, the parameters are a collider, 2D, and we'll call it other. Then inside, what we'll need to do is have an if statement that checks whether or not the other object dot tag is equal to and we called it box dude just like that and so if our box dude runs into this specific platform then what we need to do is what's called a start coroutine and real quick we're going to take a break and go down below our function and create that i enumerator so we'll type I enumerator and it needs to be spelled just like that. Then let's call it time to wait. Then inside this we will write yield return new wait four seconds. And I'm just going to put 0.1f so it's going to wait a tenth of a second. Then, after it waits a tenth of a second, we're going to destroy, and inside parentheses, we'll type this dot game object. Now what we'll need to do is, back in our function, our on trigger to enter 2D function, after our start coroutine, we're going to, in parentheses, write the name of our I enumerator function. So time 
to wait. Then we'll have parentheses, another closing parentheses, and a semicolon. Now that's all the code that we need for this platform. So we'll go ahead and save it, go back to Unity, then we'll drag our script onto our white platform. And I'm going to rename this platform to Platform 3, if you could have guessed. Now I'm going to move it over to the side just for testing purposes. And before we save it as a prefab, let's go ahead and test it to see if it works. All right, let's see if it works. Sweet. So you can see that it really does work. After our player jumped on it, the platform disappeared. So now that we know it works, we can go ahead and save it as a prefab. So we'll click on it in the hierarchy and drag it into our prefabs folder. Once it's in our prefabs folder, we can go ahead and delete it from our scene. And now that we have standard platforms, moving platforms, and vanishing platforms, you can go ahead and create more groups of platforms that contain all three of these platforms. And in a future video, we'll show you how to code the monsters. And then you can add those to your groups, making harder and harder challenges for the people that are going to be playing your game. So make sure that you save your scene and your project. So, did any of you know that that's how, that's how you uh, put code in to delete platforms and to make them disappear from the game so your character can't jump on them anymore? Did you know that? Well, if you didn't, I hope you guys pay close attention so that you know how to now. And you can add the difficulty level to your game as well. Yeah, make sure that you make some groups some prefab groups of platforms that contain disappearing platforms because that's what we need in order to spawn our platforms into the game. So make sure that you subscribe, click this button here, and if you have any questions for the code that we wrote in this video, if it doesn't make sense or if you're confused in any way, leave them in the comments below. And we'll catch you next time.